getting down to the business end of the 2017 NCHA Summer Spectacular. We just had the limited non-pro derby, and that was taken out by Cole Rothwell, who rode Khaleesi Cat and marked a 221. Congratulations to you, Cole. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So tell us about your run tonight. Um, it was, there was a lot of working time. Uh, the mare was fantastic on all three cows. Uh, we had a little miss on the second one. She kind of hung up in the ground a little bit. Um, but she just uh, tried her heart out like she's done every time I've shown her. And, um, you know, she, we'd had a, had a little bit of trouble early in the show, kind of staying up to a cow, getting close to a herd. And tonight, uh, fortunately, started with enough room. And um, she was great. She, she held every cow that we uh, put in front of her. And, and um, I couldn't be more proud of her. How did you feel coming into the event? Um, I felt great. Uh, you know, we've made uh, the finals in the non-pro um, at all three shows here. Uh, or we'd made it at the Futurity and the Super Stakes, so I felt good coming in. And then um, she was great in the go-rounds, and uh, we advanced pretty easy. And, and she was she was good last night in the semifinals. Uh, we got through with a 16. Um, so, But I was confident with her tonight. Okay. In. Where did you get this horse? Uh, Troy Riddle. Um, had this horse bought her as a yearling i believe and um came to me last year at this show he had actually asked me all year long to look at her and i was working um and i hadn't had a horse in five years so uh i was um a little hesitant just i didn't know if i was ready to be back in but uh it's worked out great he he had me come try her here and i bought her here at the derby last year um, and it's just been great. Troy has ridden horses for me for, or we've been ridden together for a long time. Um, I mean, I, since I was probably 13 or 14. So we've been really great friends. And what he's done with this horse has been just great. Um, you know, he's he's very easy to share with, and um, you know, it's it's a it's a really great partnership. Okay, so you cut a lot as a, as a youth and then as a young adult. Um, tell us about what you, you, you're fairly successful. Tell us about some of the titles you won. Um, in here, I've won, I won the senior youth um, and the five and six year old amateur at the Super Stakes uh, and then the Western Horseman Cup in Augusta. Um, I, I can't remember, I think that may be it. I can't remember. Why did you take the break? Um, well, when I graduated uh, school, in 2011 um, I really wanted to focus on my career and uh, which is uh, I work uh, it's called Crow Holdings it's a private equity real estate company in Dallas um, based around the Crow family and that's where I started right out of school as an analyst um, I've done several different things there but I really wanted to focus on moving forward with my career and take a little break from horses and I you know I, I have so many good friends here that I would still go ride and all that I mean it I came to every show in Fort Worth to the finals, and you just can't get away from it. So, fortunately, Troy, uh, you know, found this one for me, and, and it's been great. A lot. And he reeled you back in. Yeah. Smart. <laughs> Smart man. Yeah. Um, now, I have to ask you, Khaleesi Cat, is yes. that a Game of Thrones reference to the Mother of Dragons? 100%. My mom, Priscilla. Um, I can't remember what her name was when we bought her, but... Um, it, didn't, it didn't seem to fit that well, and so we were talking about a bunch of different things, and when I got on the phone with my mom, it was just like, no, I've already decided it's Khaleesi Cat. So that's kind of how it went, and um, that's, that's what we named her. Great name. I love it, and I'm so glad to meet a, fan, uh, a fellow GOT <laughs> fan. Uh, so congratulations. Uh, great, great work. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks for joining us, Chris.